Okay, today I'm going to show you what you can check on your pellet stove if you have no power to your control panel on the side of this pellet stove. Alright, so you see your pellet stove shuts off and you have power on the outlet. Well, I can see because I have a little surge protector on mine, so I know I have power here. But you come around the side, come over here, Mr. Cameraman, and you come down here and you open your panel up. Just open it up and you have no power. So, if there's no power in here, most likely it's going to be the little fuse. It's right back here. So I'll show you how we can check that and change that fuse out. Okay, okay first you got to make sure your pellet stove is unplugged. Because even though there's no power to this panel, there's going to be power inside there somewhere. So, unplug the pellet stove. You're going to take these two screws out. Can you see me doing that? There's two screws. One here on the bottom on the right. And one on the top. Pull that out. And carefully pull this out. Pull the right side out. And on the right side, or you're going to see, on my, at least my pillow, so I have two. Okay, behind your control panel, you're going to have, at the bottom of control panel, this is my where my ESP probe is connected. You're going to have to disconnect that. At least I can disconnect just this, and I'll be able to get to the fuse should be like a little tab on the bottom of that. Just push that tab in. There we go. Pull that out. There, this shouldn't be too hard to get out. Now, at the top of this, sorry. I lost my camera, man. At the top of this control board, there is a... Right there. There's a little cutout. So you should be able to slide that little cutout on this metal. Over that metal. That's how you're going to get that out. Put the bottom corner all the way to the left. And that should slide out just like that. And she comes out. And the rest of my wires are good. And right here is your fuse, which mine looks good right now, but this is what was in mine, and it's blown. Now, my Harman pellet stove, a P68, had a It says a 6 amp 250 volt fuse in it. Now when I went to the Harman dealer, they sold me a this they sold me a 5 amp ceramic fuse. So they told me this is what they use now, so this is what I'm going to put in. Pull that one out. Slide your new fuse in. Now if you blew your fuse, 
There may be a reason why you blew your fuse. I am going to guess for me, I think my igniter is getting old, so I bought a new igniter. I put that bot bottom left in. The bottom left corner goes all the way to the left. And you're going to slide that across just like you took it out. Okay, that's in. Now make sure you reconnect your ESP probe thing. Two screws back in. Hi, Nelly. Hey, babe. Hi. I don't care. Now I have power back. My power light's on. So hopefully that will fix your problem. Okay, I hope that helped you out. If you have no power to your control panel, just get back in there and see if that fuse is blown. Um, I think maybe my control panel, or my fuse blew by my control panel because I think my igniter is getting bad. So I'm going to change out the igniter on this and I'll make a video on that also. So I hope they helped you out. Um, please hit that thumbs up button or subscribe to my channel. That really helped me out. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.